Hi, I'm Richard Hare, Facility Manager for British Columbia. I want to take a few minutes to follow up on some feedback that uh, has been received with our new cleaning system that was introduced a uh, year or so ago and uh, share some feelings that, uh, and observations that we've had as well. I want to just take a minute and go over some of the observations I've made as I've traveled around to the different buildings and share these with you so we can become more standardized in our approach. This is the product that's being approved for our use. It's the only product in the building other than toilet bowl cleaner. It cleans windows, floors, all surfaces. It measures it in the proper uh, amount. It has a quick disconnect. I've noticed a lot of people struggling with the hoses. All you have to do is pull back and you can disconnect right there. Some people don't like this device and we have an alternative. If you like to see the product going in the bucket, we have this dispensing system and it just requires that much material. This is the charging bucket. It has a fill line. You don't need any more product than that to put your brew cloths in. This is the other dispensing system and you just pour the product that's in there into here and then use this for the small cleanup jobs that might be required. That's the purpose of this bottle. So one product, that's it brothers and sisters. This is very serious and I want you to read my lips. No outside products in the building. Please. I've noticed some people uh, dismantling the distribution system and thinking more might be better. And in fact, that's not the case. It's very refined. So we don't like to see this take place. The other thing I've observed, brothers and sisters, is um, some old habits continuing to creep into the building. I know change is hard. Uh, at one time we used uh, smelly, uh, contaminated string mops, and we have now shifted to the microfiber reflex cloth, which is flat. It does have raised bumps that grabs the dirt and holds it, and this has to be cleaned. Uh, the string mop supposed to have been cleaned as well, but seldom was, and became the biggest culprit for spreading bacteria throughout our buildings. So the question came up, well, I don't like using the claws on the floor and then using them on the counter. That's quite simple. Take a marker, write on the blue cloth, floors only. Problem solved. Wash the floor claws separate from the other claws. One thing I have observed is People are not using the blue claws to the best advantage when they're cleaning the glass surfaces. And so what I would recommend is that you take the cloth, fold it in force like this, then you have all these different surfaces. You could probably clean almost all the glass doors in a building with one or at the very most two damp claws. So the first thing, brothers and sisters, is you take a damp cloth and you just wipe the the window down like this, wipe the places where people's hands touch, that's that. Then you take a dry cloth and you wipe that down. No streaks, the job is complete. I find people using paper towels and you're just knocking yourself out for no reason. It just doesn't clean and it leaves streaks and uh, We'd rather be more productive with our volunteer time. People have indicated, well, what do you do if you have a big spill? We used to use the old string mop. Well, what would you do at home if you had a spill? You'd probably first grab a paper towel and clean it up. Failing that, you'd probably grab a, a cloth or a tea towel and clean it up. We still have that option, brothers and sisters. These claws, which are available in every building, can be wet and they don't fall apart. You can wring them out, you can use them over and over again. So if you have a messy situation, I would suggest you use these claws and throw them in the garbage and no cleanup is necessary. The other comments I've heard is, well, the floors don't look as clean as they used to. Uh, 
we are doing a better job, frankly, with this system than we ever did with the string mop system. But in addition, we have provided in every building uh, this stiff brush. If people want to get in and really get aggressive on the tile floors, that would be great. They're professionally cleaned twice a year. Um, but the reality is, if you are laying down a wet surface of the disinfectant, you are doing the best that we can under the conditions. It's not expected of the members to clean the grout, clean all the tile. That's never been our mandate, but we do disinfect. So as reference material, when you go to the building, and if the ward physical facilities person is not present, hopefully they are, but if they're not, we have these reference guides. One talks about each area of the building and what tasks can be completed. The other chart displays the type of equipment that would be required to complete the tasks in those specific areas. It's just point by point, and so if you are confused, just look at these uh, charts and it'll be very helpful to you. So we're going to take a few minutes now, brothers and sisters, to go through a restroom area of this building, and I will show you step by step how I would approach uh, the cleaning of a, of a restroom. And if you follow this process, you'll be in and out of a restroom in probably around 10 minutes or less. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to vacuum the loose material from the floor surface. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put bowl cleaner in the toilets and swab the bowl and then leave it that way. Then I'm going to take a damp reflex cloth and I'm going to cover all the surfaces that a person's hands would touch. Counters, sinks, paper towel dispensers, soap dispensers, push bars on the door, uh, flush levers, latches on the partitions. That's it. And I'm going to clean the mirror. After I do that, I'm going to go around with a dry cloth. After the material has sat for a few minutes, I'm going to wipe them clean so you don't see any water spots. Following that, I'm going to take a workhorse paper towel and I'm going to put it in the, in the material, the liquid, and I'm going to wash down the surface of the toilet. Then I'm going to dispose of the paper towel. And then at the end, I'm going to take one of the very damp reflex claws, put it on the reflex tool, and completely clean the, the floor. That's the last item I'm going to do. And then we're done. Now as important as the cleaning of the facility is, so is the cleaning of the tools that we've used so they're ready for the next person that uh, comes along. And so there will be leftover product in the bucket. I would recommend you use that because it's still clean because you've never dipped anything else back in there to fill up that little bottle I showed you earlier and leave it on the counter for small cleanups. The rest of the material should be poured down the floor drains in the bathrooms to keep them fresh and then rinse this bucket out. What I do see on regular basis is a pile of dirty cloths that haven't even been rinsed out uh, sitting festering in a bucket waiting for somebody else to clean it. So at the very least brothers and sisters we need to rinse these and, and hang them up or preferably the ward PFR takes them home after the cleaning and cleans them using the proper solution. And that is this product which releases the dirt from this reflex clause use one cup one lid full in that bucket with hot water and you can do it on site I've done it and then rinse it and then I rinse it again and then I rinse it again and by the fourth rinse there is no dirt left in the water it's clear 
and so four rinses on site. Or if you want to take them home, use this product, no softeners, nothing else, and bring the claws back. But please always leave claws in the facility for people to use. Sometimes I come in the building and there's no claws. And so that's not good. So that's the important part, is cleaning up and then hang the clean claws up for the next group that's going to clean. Thank you very much for taking this time to uh, share the experiences that we have and look forward to a productive and a meaningful year of cleaning. <laughs>